<laughs> so I, I say I'm either an astronomer or an astrophysicist, depending on what reaction. <laughs> I want. Sometimes people get feel a bit put off by the astrophysics title, so I may say astronomer because everybody loves astronomy, and some people confuse it with astrology. Uh, <laughs> but but then they, they say, "What do you do?" And I talk about galaxy formation evolution and I'm actually studying how the amount of oxygen and carbon and nitrogen in the universe evolved with time and it's relevant to us because we're breathing the oxygen and we're made of the carbon and uh, so, so people can actually relate to it yeah. and they, they find it pretty fascinating. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. There should be funding support to allow people with small children to bring them along to conferences yeah. and the carer for them. Um, so that they're not, you know, bringing their children with personal funds all yeah. the time. Because this is how you build your international reputation. Mm -hmm. It's how mm -hmm. you advertise your work. It's how you advertise your students' work. It's really important um, to maintain an international profile, even when you you've got children. Mm, I, one thing that changed my life was going to an academic women's writing retreat. And there was a talk there about time management and it was called the Urgent Important Matrix. Oh, and yeah. it, you can put things into these categories, but the problem is that research and creativity fall into a category that's seen as not urgent. Mm. And so if you're a very busy person, you're always doing the urgent tasks and not, not research, which is seen as important but not urgent. And so that made me really change how I prioritise things. And also I realised that I'm, my brain works very well in the mornings it's completely hopeless in the afternoon and evenings and other people are different. And so that what I really needed to do is make sure that all my creativity and writing and stuff that I really needed to think about were in the mornings and then all my meetings could be in the afternoons. And so once I started doing that, I started being much more productive mm. and uh, feeling much happier with how I was spending my work time.